Mr. Bargo, your car was towed by a company that is owned by the defendants, and you claim that it was illegally towed, and as a result of that illegal tow, you and the defendants got into sort of a kerfuffle, and you were arrested not once but twice. The first time when you went to retrieve your car, and the second time when the defendants alleged that you threatened them on the phone? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so let's first find out where and when your car was parked when it was towed. Yes, Your Honor. On the night of November 29th, I went to downtown and I stopped... Downtown where? Downtown Denver, Your Honor. And I stopped at a neighborhood hangout called Charlie's. I played one game of billiards with someone. They invited me to go back to their place. They said, I live two blocks away. We can walk. I said, no, I just bought a brand new car. We can go in my car. They said, okay. No, don't, don't tell me what they said. Oh, sorry, Let's yeah. just get to where your car was parked when it was towed. Yes, Your Honor. It was parked between 13th and 14th Avenue and between Pennsylvania was and Was it Pearl. right near Charlie's? No, Your Honor. Was it on a public street? No, Your Honor. It was in a private uh, apartment residence and I parked in somebody's parking spot that does not own a vehicle. Okay. It's a private residence, a multiple dwelling. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Not where you live? Correct, Your Honor. But where you were invited to come as a guest? Yes, Your Honor. And you parked your car in another residence spot? In the resident where I spent the night, yes, Your Honor. Is that you? No, Your Honor. So the person who allegedly gave you permission to park in their spot is not here? No, Your Honor. That's a big mistake. You understand that? Because the first part of your claim, sir, is that your car was illegally towed, which you can't prove to me because you don't have the person who gave you permission to park there. And it's private property. You understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So now your car is towed by you. Yes, ma'am. Did you get a call from someone to come and get that car out of there? No, ma'am. We're actually under contract with the Salvation Army. It's not a parking lot that belongs to any of the apartment buildings in the area. It belongs to the Salvation Army, and it's all permit parking at all times. I have a picture of the lot, Your Honor. I'd like to see. I also have a copy of our contract with that property, ma'am. Oh, yeah. I'd like to take a look at it. Hold on. Now, this is the parking lot that is owned by the Salvation Army? Yes, yes. ma'am. And it's permitted? Permit par parking at all times. Got it. The signs in the lot also do state permit parking only. We have pictures of the signs for the lot also. I'd like to see them. Okay, so there are signs there that say permit parking only. Yes, Your Honor. And you didn't have a permit? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Now, what happened, sir, when you got down and found your car had been towed? Well, I spent the night at the apartment building, not the Salvation Army, and when I woke up in the morning, my car was missing. And so I contacted the police department to report the car stolen. At that time, I found out that the car had been towed to Mile High. Oh, just a second, how did you find that out, sir? Because every car that gets towed has to be reported to the police, so that if you think it's stolen like I did, you find out where your where car it was is towed. At. So the police advised you that the car had been towed. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And at what time was this in the morning? And okay. what date? 11 a.m. on the 30th, and I first called defendants and the first person to pick up the phone was Mrs. Nicole Craven and she said something about a crazy Islamic guy and after I heard that statement I took my phone and I recorded the rest of the phone calls and the defendants refused to give the vehicle back for money or for anything. Well I'd like to hear. I'm not releasing the vehicle until the owner of the car calls me to go to jail. This is the owner and I'm not going to jail. I'll show up with the police okay. You have me confused with someone else. I want my vehicle back. Um, that's good for you. You have someone else on camera. I want my vehicle back. No, meet me down there at 1 o'clock with the police there. I will have them there. How much is the car to get out? 268 cash on. Okay, you got it. 